So this is my Thanksgiving break, and it was going to be a glorious time of lots and lots of guitar music, uh, guitar practice sessions. Um, I am off from work for an entire week, been off since Friday after school. I am off from church. There's no church services or rehearsals this week. And I'm also between trimesters uh, at my uh, I'm a doctorate uh, theology student at Midwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, and I'm in between trimesters, so I have no homework. Uh, I've been working really hard so far for that degree, and I'm taking two weeks of no homework. Uh, it's a big relief, but I also miss it already because I really enjoy doing it. So it was going to be a glorious week of lots and lots of hours of guitar practicing. But then I cut my finger, I cut my thumb pretty badly on Saturday. I was washing uh, my veggie uh, slicer. <laughs> I made a video of that slicer on Saturday. Um, I'm eating lots of veggies lately and I got a really nice veggie chopper. Uh, and uh, I cut my thumb really bad. I'm gonna have to change my... Uh, my band-aid, so I'll show you the cut. It doesn't look like much on camera. I mean, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it's very deep and very painful. So I've been putting band-aids on and washing it since Saturday, but it hurts to the touch. So it's on my left hand thumb and that is the finger that goes behind the fingerboard on the guitar. I'm changing the bandaid right now. It's kind of a funky way to put the bandaid on because the cut is in an awkward place. So I can't really play it. I mean, I could play, but it hurts when you squeeze the hand like that because the cut is right there. So change of plans. No playing guitar this week, unfortunately. So I decided to reorganize our home library. Uh, and I started on Friday before I cut my finger because I was thinking, you know, it's just a few hours I can finish. And then on Saturday when I cut my finger, I was thinking, okay, let me do a, a bigger job. Let me do a better job at reorganizing our home library. And then when I started working, I assumed, you know, I'll be done in five or six hours. I have a bunch of new theology books that I've been keeping in boxes and in the, you know, family room and stuff. And uh, I thought I would be done. But then once I started reorganizing the books in there, I realized that there's a lot of stuff in there I no longer need. That over the years, it just accumulated in there. Like, you know, music scores I no longer need and music binders and old stuff. Uh, that's our dog playing. <laughs> uh, old stuff that I no longer need. And over the years, you know, you just dump stuff in there. And... Um, that's Coco eating my shoes, so hold on. Hey, hey. I showed Coco in my last video, so she's here in the room with me chewing on stuff. So I'll try to keep her away from our shoes. So anyways, as I started um, looking at the library, I notice that there's a lot of things in there that I no longer need. Uh, for example, I had no more room for a lot of my guitar music. And I decided to put that in a couple of bins in the garage so I don't lose it. Uh, but now I'm gonna have room for all of my music that I actually need because I'm doing a deep cleaning, a deep reorganizing of the stuff in the library. So this video will take a couple of days to finish because I'm gonna show you where I'm at now. I started Friday evening with a little bit of work and Saturday I did more work because I cut my fingers. I said, okay, let, let me do a better job. And then as I, as I kept working, I realized there's a lot of junk in there that I no longer need. So um, I'll show you what the living room looks now. I'm in the middle of the job. And now I'm a little bit pressed with time because we have Thanksgiving coming up and uh, I have a deadline. Um, 
my wife officially gave me a deadline to finish by Tuesday or else. <laughs> we have to clean the house. We have lots of guests coming on Thanksgiving and the living room does not look inviting at all right now. I'll show you in a minute. Um, as I'm cleaning and getting rid of a lot of things I no longer need. So I'll show you what it looks like now and then I'll show you tomorrow and then I'll show you when I'm done. Basically, I'm trying to organize this, the books in there, the materials by category and also by size so that it looks um, aesthetic, it looks good, but also so that it's accessible so I can find my books easily. Um, I have four or five categories of books in there. I have um, classical music scores and books, like, you know, serious music scores. Um, uh, you know, there's symphony scores and, you know, cantata scores and music theory books and music history books. So that's one category. Then I have uh, guitar scores, then I have piano scores, then I have miscellaneous scores, then I have uh, sacred music, like hymns and church music, then I have uh, worship music books, uh, like um, books written for worship leaders and music directors, things, you know, books of that nature. Then I have um, multi-volume music dictionary and I have two sets of encyclopedias, general encyclopedias. Then I have a ton of theology books now. Um, and those are different types like reference and um, different types of Bibles and uh, systematic theology books and then just theology books by topic. Um, so there's a lot of that right now. And uh, lots of miscellaneous books. There's just general books. So I'll have five or six categories. I'll divide the books by category, but, but it also has to look good uh, and it also has to be accessible. So let me just show you what the living room looks like right now. And I'll show you again in a day or two when I'm done. Now you have to promise not to tell anyone what my living room looks like right now. It's our little secret, so don't tell anybody, okay? Okay, you ready? All right, here is the living room. Here is all the stuff that was just sitting there, a lot of it that I no longer need. Some books that I have multiple copies of. Here's the Left Behind series. <laughs> That's a great series, by the way. I read the whole thing, it's like 12 volumes but I gave some of the volumes away, so now it's incomplete, so I'm just gonna throw them out. And basically just a ton of music, a ton of music scores that I no longer need, because I have extra copies, or I no longer need them. A lot of books that I don't know how they got in there that I have to get rid of. And basically, that's the bookshelf right there. And I'm about half done. So I have my theology books there, and I'll put my music books there and there and uh, there's my encyclopedias and my music dictionary uh, but there's a lot more left to be done I have to reorganize the instruments in here and yeah that's the current state of the living room and it does not look pretty at all and I'm being scolded for this every hour of the day and I'm working on it and I'll show you what it looks like, maybe in another day. And then again, when I'm done. Okay, see you later. All right, so it's Tuesday morning, close to noon. And I think I'm done organizing my library downstairs and cleaning the living room. I started on Friday before going uh, on Thanksgiving break. And I was thinking, you know, I'll take a couple hours to kind of move books around and make the library look a little better. And then I cut my finger on Saturday, 
pretty bad he doesn't look bad in the video but it's very painful so i can't play the guitar this was gonna be a glorious week of lots and lots of guitar music just playing by myself uh but it's not gonna happen because this cut is pretty nasty and very painful to the touch and i, I can't play the guitar this week so then i decided to really reorganize my library downstairs and that caused a lot of mess in the living room. So then I had to deal with that as well. I think I'm done. Uh, the most challenging part was making room. Um, so I ended up throwing out a lot of stuff that turned out that I don't really need. You know, over the years, you just dump things in there and copies of music and books that you think you want to read and books that people gave you and they thought you should read them <laughs> things like that so i think i threw out about 100 150 books uh close to 100 books at least i didn't count but it was uh i think three large garbage bags of books and sheet music that i had extras of multiple copies of and binders that I no longer need and all, just a lot of junk that just sat there and just taking space for no reason. So I, uh, it, it was a lot of that, a lot of throwing out stuff I don't really need and then reorganizing it. And then I try to organize it by size so that it looks, you know, aesthetic, but also by category. So uh, I have four or five categories of books. I have a lot of music books and a lot of theology books and some miscellaneous books, and I have some encyclopedias and uh, multi-volume dictionaries. So <clears throat> I'll show you what it looks like right now, okay? Okay, you ready? And here's the living room. And here's the library right there. Much better than the other day, don't you think so? Uh, I had a bunch of guitars there. I found a different place for those. Most of those went back to my classroom because they were guitars that I brought home to either fix or change strings. So they don't belong here anyways. But this is what the living room looks like now. And mostly the bookshelf, that made a big difference. And I decluttered that corner there. So let me show you uh, the categories of books that I have. Uh, this is a multi-volume music dictionary. This is the, the New Grove Dictionary of Music. This is one of the best dictionaries out there for musicians. Um, comes in 20 volumes. It costs about $1,200 or more, depending on the format. Like if you get hardcover, it's even more. I bought this set for $65, literally. I think I made a video of it. I'll place a link of that if I find it. Then I have an older encyclopedia over here and a newer encyclopedia set here. And I have a set of church history uh, sort of encyclopedia here. It's an eight volume set. It's a pretty uh, well-known set by Chef. Uh, here are my theology books. This whole thing is just theology book, except for a couple of shelves down there. But so here are some reference theology books. Uh, I love the archaeological book, uh, Bible, Thompson, chain reference Bible is awesome. Here's more reference and uh, systematic theology books. Uh, these are all theology books over here. Some of these I purchased most of these I purchased since I'm studying at Midwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. And some of them I had from, I had from before. Here's a bunch of Calvin volumes that I really enjoy reading. Um, lots of really good stuff. Here's my two volumes of Old Testament and New Testament commentary surveys. Love those. Um, I'll place some links for some of the books in here if you want if you want to take a look uh, then here's some of my music books because I'm also a musician I'm first and foremost a musician here's some of my 
classical music books uh, and scores. Here's some sacred music books and scores. Here's some worship resources, except this book doesn't belong here. This is a really good book with tough biblical questions. I was going to put it here, but there's no room at this time, so I have to rearrange something. But anyways, these are uh, worship worship leader, worship music resources, and then a lot of miscellaneous books down here. Here's some health help, self-help books. Uh, there's three millionaire books over here, or four. I'm not a millionaire yet. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be one, but... <laughs> there's the wheat belly books interesting stuff there and uh here i have some just general reference books and dictionaries and some literature um, collection there and down here right there i have my guitar scores my piano scores and miscellaneous scores such as you know some trumpet music some violin music uh, different things. There's the Arban trumpet book down there. So, yeah, and then I, I have actually a lot of empty space, which is pretty cool. I used my valija there to hold the books in place. <laughs> I think I made a couple of videos with this instrument. And I have an empty uh, shelf there, so I put some instruments there. And I'm using a shell. I found these shells in Florida on the beach. These are real. I found them like in a pile of shells that washed up on the on the shore late in the evening. So I have some of those. Uh, this one's kind of cute there. Uh, yeah. So anyways, that's, uh, that's the library. And it feels great to be done. And my job now is to keep it this way. <laughs> that's right, to maintain it this way and just to stop dumping things there that I don't need. And when you take a book out, put it back the way that you found it when you're done with it. So yeah. Anyways, my next project, well, I'll tell you in a minute, much, much bigger, but I'm very happy with this right now. Clean and cozy and uncluttered, absolutely. So my next project is the garage. Now I'm not gonna show you what that looks like right now because it's way more embarrassing than what the living room looked like a couple of days ago uh, when I started taking all this stuff out. The garage is pretty much a storing uh, area, a storage place right now. Uh, our cars don't fit in there anyways, so we can't park our cars in there. But uh, that's my next project and there's a lot of music stuff in there too. A lot of instruments and books uh, that I haven't looked at in a while and um, uh, music accessories and strings and things of that nature. So I have to throw out what I don't need and reorganize that as well. So that'll be my next project. Well, uh, I'll have to find something musical and theological to do with the rest of my week. Uh, I'm on vacation from work, school. I am on vacation, I mean, between trimesters. Um, from Midwestern and uh, our church is closed this week so I have nowhere to go and no homework to do so I think what I'm gonna do I, I can't practice the guitar or the piano I think I'll do some reading just for fun I'll, I'll read some some of my theology books that were not assigned for me to read and maybe some miscellaneous books that I've been wanting to read and uh, maybe write some arrangements and uh, and then enjoy time with family this week we have uh, big number of people coming on Thursday and that'll be fun and uh, I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving I don't know if I'll have time to make another video this week um, if I don't make another video hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving spend some time with your family and friends and uh, thanks for watching my video I hope you like my uh, bookshelf back there and my living room thanks for watching the video see you next time happy Thanksgiving